43-year-old Maurice Harris walked into Lee County Justice Court shackled and somber. He was there to plead guilty to a double homicide that happened on Easter Sunday, 2010. On that night, police found the bodies of 35-year-old Jerry White and 39-year-old O'Neill Collier in a car on Linden Hill Street. Both men had been shot in the head and robbed. Harris was arrested hours later after police followed a trail of evidence to his home only a half mile from the crime scene. He was charged with two counts of capital murder, which could have carried the death penalty. His trial was set for next month, but this afternoon Harris was in front of Judge Thomas Gardner entering two guilty pleas. Please are accepted the defendant is judge guilty. He was sentenced to two consecutive life terms without the possibility of parole. Shortly before Judge Gardner formally sentenced Harris, both victims' mothers addressed the man who took so much from their families. You said you were sorry to us, but I want you to say, forgive me. Because that's what me and my family, we forgive you for what you've done. You know why? Because we have the love of God. Okay? And I knew I had to forgive Maurice because I know God wanted me to do that, to forgive him. Attorneys for Harris declined to comment, but prosecutors said justice was served. We have a defendant that took the lives of two human beings. He actually practically really executed them. Uh, but with the request of the family and agreement of law enforcement, this defendant has received two consecutive life without parole sentences. Now family members of the two victims say they'll get on with their lives while remembering their loved ones. He was a happy, happy person. He loved life. You know, in Easter time, he loved the holidays, especially Christmas. He'd come over there and say, don't get me nothing for Christmas. But you know, he was telling the tale. <laughs> this is some of the good things you have to remember in order to get through it. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.